Hey Blue Table fans, I'm here with Josh. Hi Josh, can you see yourself? Awesome, I hope so, because I have the cameras turned the wrong way. Uh, we're gonna play a bat rep 2,000 points. We have this Necron army that we're gonna play one last time before we have to send it away. Um, and Josh was nice enough to come down and play. He's got a uh, Tau. So, no Imperial Forces again, that's kind of fun. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and play. Here is the table. Um, we're gonna do the Tomb King's Egyptian table. Um, that kind of fits the Necron theme, so it'll be fun. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoy. So Josh and I are gonna play a three objective game. Um, it's called Supply Drop. It, a, a friend of mine that uh, plays at my local game store came up with it. And what happens is on the first three rounds of the game, we will have a, an objective drop in the middle of the table. That's where the die is marking is in the middle of the table. And then it will move with a scatter die in 46 in a random direction. And then it's just going to be basic, a basic objective game after that. So, uh, yeah, hopefully it will be, hopefully it'll be interesting. It's just going to be kind of different because it's not like you, it's not like we strategically place them. It's random. So, uh, let's roll for turn. Okay. You mean set up? Yeah, set up. Right. Turn set up for a three and a one. I will choose to go first, I think. So I'll set up and then he'll set up and he'll try to seize and then we'll play. And Josh is going to attempt to seize the initiative. Do you want to do deployment first? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. We got some deployment. What do you got set up? All right. So I got broadsides in the corner. Okay. Pathfinder's sneaking out right there. Got my line of tanks. Crest suit hiding behind. Fire warriors have to start outside the devil fish because they were bought for the pathfinders. The other path have, to, have to be bought for the pathfinders to bring pathfinders. One of those. Yep. So here's things. the other one, a piranha, and I've got two unit of crew outflanking. Or okay. not outflanking. Do I want to outflanking? Now I'll just reserve them in. Just reserve them in? Okay. All right, so I've got uh, um, the annihilation barge hanging in the back here because it's got, it stays still, it's got the 72 inch range, and I feel like that's a pretty good arc of fire for it. Um, whatever. I have the Immortals with a Lord and the Crypt Tech. Uh, two of the Ghost Arcs with uh, ten man warrior squads inside. Ten man warrior squad with a, another Pharaoh Overlord guy there. So they're relentless. Just a regular ten man squad here. I got the Wraiths and they're hanging out outside of this uh, Night Scythe, because they're going to jump in it, because the Night Scythe was bought for the Immortals. And then I've got my Scarabs. Cool. All right. Go for it. Seize the initiative. I yeah, he, he just seized the initiative. Gross. Okay. <laughs> All right, so right at the beginning of the first turn, uh, we're going to roll 46 here and a scatter die to see where this objective ends up. So we're gonna follow the little arrow on, even though it's on the hit marker. So it's gonna go 15 inches that way and plop down right in front of the tower army right there. So that will act just as a regular objective. Any troops within three inches will hold it. Anything else will contest it. There we go. So we'll go for Josh's movement and then come back while he shoots me. <laughs> Move. All right, so we have the Prana fly over there. Okay. And we just had these kind of shuffle a little bit just to get movement, so even though it's impossible for him to assault, it's right. just a good habit to get into. Crisis suits moved over, uh, these guys moved up. This tank moved over a little bit so that these guys can move out. And that's about it. Okay, how about it, sir? All right. First thing we're gonna do, oh, can't see that one. All right, so the unit's gonna shoot at the Annihilation Barge. Since okay. this guy can't see it, he's gonna use his uh, Target lock. We're gonna target. Let's see here. We'll target that ghost arc right there. This ghost arc here. Yep. Okay. All right. So the one at the annihilation barge. Oops, yeah, I get those out of the way. Oh, and then the fire warriors jumped in. Jumped in the vehicles. Yep. This vehicle scooted up a little bit, so they're holding that objective. All right. So the annihilation barge. Twin linked. Missed. Okay. So three and a one. And at the ghost arc. Linked. Hit. Hit. Uh, I need a three to glance. Three to glance. Pen. Six will pen. Go ahead. So their shields are gone. And they're mobilized. Wrecked. Take one. Oh, right. Yes. Take one. It's open top. So they're wrecked. 
So they will get out and they are not uh, pinned. Nope. So we'll get them out of the end. Then. Unless you want to shoot at them? Um, not right now. Okay. And this one can't see. Yeah, great. All right. So these Pathfinders are going to mark your light, those warriors. Okay. They'll get three. All right. Convenient, handy dandy little markers. <laughs> yes, indeed. There. Those are some fun little markers. Super helpful. So we can just remove those as he uses them. It's a handy way to mark to make sure that you don't over or under use your marker lights. All right. So this tank is going to shoot at them. Okay. He's going to expend all three to take away your cover save. Okay. And the blast is what? Strength six, AP four or something? Indeed it is. All right. All right, so right there. That goes three inches. Three inches. So still six of them. All right. Um, so these six will just kill. So we'll roll these separate and then I'll do smart missiles. So six of them are just gonna die. We'll go ahead and take a wound on the Lord for one of them. Oh. And the Lord will, we'll see if that's cocked. Yeah, we'll do roll that. Lord's okay. All right. So five die. Um, and then the smart missiles are actually out of range. Smart missiles are out of range. Okay. I'm gonna take uh, these five here. All right. So. You gonna shoot at them some more? Um, I don't believe I have any light of sight to them, so no. Okay, so we'll take our morale check right now. We'll pass on a seven, so they're okay. All right, uh, that's armor 11, right, for the uh, Yes, it is. All right, yeah. these guys will try and shoot it. Okay. We have ranged with two of them. Two have range, okay. So force the hit. Three hits. Drink seven, so I need fives to pen. Five to pen. One glance. Glancing, shake it. metal. Yeah, so, oh yeah, we roll it right now. So on a anything but a one, I ignore it. Ignore it. I don't ignore <laughs> it. It is shaken. Nice. Okay, I'll put that on there. All right. Let's see. Shot, shots. That half's done. I'll go over here. Oh, those guys have line of sight, but I already said I want to shoot at them. Nah, you can shoot at them anyway. I don't care. <laughs> I just, the only reason I said anything about it was just to remember to take the morale check right then. All right. Um, these guys are going to mark like these warriors. Okay. He's out of range. He's just out. That guy's there. All right. Yeah. So then they have the bottom four. We'll be in. All right. So marker light. We got three. That's enough to take the cover save away. Oh. Assume it be. I think I'm only gonna take your cover save down to a six, so I'll use two of them. Okay. And we'll do this again with the hammerhead. The hammerhead going. I'm gonna go ahead and take a shot at these guys and Ooh, I their day. Please hit. If, he hit. if he hits, you get what, nine of them? Nine of them. <laughs> oh man. Oh, oh no. Nope. This one. So it's gonna go four inches off. So what do we got? Still get four. It looks four. Like. Okay. Four Necron warriors getting blown up by Tau. Yeah, it used to take a battle cannon to do that. <laughs> now, yeah, now it doesn't so much. That's that's a definite change. So four of them are gonna drop unless I can make some sixes here. And four of them are going to drop. Let's see if the smart missiles are in range. Nope. Just oh, wait. Is that in? 24. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So that's where our missile is in. All right. And then smart missiles. I'll miss. Oh. Whoops. Well. Well, I got four that way. Yeah. All right. So four over here. Now I'm pulling them off to the side because at the end of the phase, I still get to do their uh, reanimation protocols. Now, if you live, well, if, yeah, if I live, he might. He, if he can, if he can totally destroy the unit, 
then, then we don't have to worry about that. Right. So this unit's gonna use the last marker light to up their ballistic skill. Okay. Since I don't think their plasma's gonna be in range. Just out. Nope. All right, so just missiles. All right, so these ones will hit on threes. And then the HQ will hit on twos. Six hits. And you're AP four, right? Indeed. So four wounds, so I need to just take cover. We made them. Water. They're, they're happy. They're happy Necrons. <laughs> All right, and then this unit of Christ suits will do the same thing. Okay. Four is to hit. So three hits. And three wounds. Three more cover saves. That will, only one will cover, so two will die. We'll add some little heart tokens that we've been using for it. We're gonna get some actual Macron stall tokens here one of these days. Um, let's see here. Shot, shot, shot. Can't shoot. Shot, 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 shot. Okay, that's it. So okay, let's. Their leadership test. Leadership test for them. They're okay on an eight. And then they've got six guys they're trying to bring back on fives and sixes in this unit. They'll get back up. So two guys get back up. And I can put them anywhere within incoherency. So I'm going to put them in front of the unit, get myself a little extra range there. Then I've got five over here in this other unit. And the Pharaon that's in there has a res orb. So on a four better, these guys get back up. Two of them get back up. And I'm going to do the same thing again. Them out in front, get closer, and great. That will be my turn one then. So I'll do my movement, and well, actually, let's start with the uh, objective. You want to roll for that? I thought it was every. Oh, every round. You're right. right. My bad. I... <laughs> Duh. Okay. Playing by your rules. Playing by us. my <laughs> rules. I got to play by my own rules. All right. One sec. Uh, we'll do my movement. So at the beginning of the turn. This ghost arc, which was in, was in six inches of those guys, is going to go ahead and uh, try and add some necrons to that unit. So on a, I roll a die, and then on a one, and it will dissipate the energy and not be able to do it again. But anything else, that's okay. So it's okay, and it's going to add D3, two necrons back. Blip. Cool. All right. That was fun. Now I'm doing the rest of my movement. All right, so we're gonna get gutsy with the uh, immortal uh, Necron guy there, the whatever his name is. The okay. Cryptek. Thank you, that Cryptek guy who with has the veil of darkness, and we're gonna move that unit right over here, and I'll hit. So that's good. That's a good thing because uh, it would be a pretty expensive unit to have fall off the edge of the table. One <laughs> shot. All right. And we'll be back. Okay. All right. So, uh, got some guys, and then these guys moved up. I only rolled a three, so they didn't get to move very far. Uh, this guy moved up 12, moved this guy 12. I have to roll to see if I mobilize this guy going onto that train. I don't, so he's okay. I think you did that already. Did I? Well, I uh, you weren't immobilized then either. Um, and the, the uh, I'm sorry, the wraiths got inside of it. Um, these warriors that were the ones that from this destroyed ghost arc got out and moved. These guys moved. I'm gonna go ahead and run with these guys. So we'll do that later, there's run move there. A fleet move for these guys. So they're gonna go four, which, yeah, there's no way they're gonna be able to charge, so it's all right. Uh, these guys right here will run as well. So they got a three inch run. And then uh, some shooting. You've got these guys who are relentless because of the Pharaon are gonna attempt to shoot the uh, Pathfinders. So he's Not way sure. out. Am I in with that guy? You are not. You're out by like. Okay. Out too. Oops, sorry. So it looks like I got two. All right. Is that guy in? That guy is in. All right, so I got three. So three attacks on those pathfinders. Two hits. And I'm strength four, so I need threes. I totally rolled underneath your vehicle. Yeah, I do that all the time. Oh, there it is. It's a three. So two wounds. All right, two saves, four plus, one dies. Okay. We'll take the guy that was in range. Um, cool. 
Went 12, so they're not going to shoot, not going to shoot. This guy is going to put his large blast on your... Uh, he's going to shoot at the, the guy who tried to... Or the guy who tried to kill off some of his Necron guys, Necron boys. Is he hammerhead? I'm going to shoot the hammerhead. Okay. And we're going to... Yeah, we're just going to place it right on the hammerhead. Oh, go. Of course I rolled it in. Under you guys. Again, holy That's cow. okay. That one's a one. It's a one. This guy... Got cocked two. Two. So right. it stick. So it hits. Um, Bam. Strength nine, your armor 12, right? 13. 13. So four. Bounces off. Nothing. Woot. Can I get a woot? Woot. No. No woots. Terribleness. All right. Um, over here. These guys that jumped. Ooh, um, this should be fun. These guys. I have the flamer template here from the uh, Trip Tech which is Strength 8, but goes against their leadership. Right. Um, strength 8 AP 1 goes against their leadership. So okay. I've got four guys there. Their leadership is, majority leadership is? Majority leadership is 8. 8. So fours will, fours will kill some of these guys. I was in school. Oh, you roll Two, that one. And a cock guy. Three of them. All right. And the rest of the unit? And the rest of the unit um, is relentless, so they'll shoot all of their weapons into them. Bam. So, Gaz, there's ten of them. Four, five. They're six, definitely in rapid fire. Seven. Eight. This guy nine, just decided to take a nap on the job. Ten. Yeah, the Lord's like, well, you guys have fun. I'm just going to sit here. I'm sorry, those guys. All right, uh, I'm going to roll in the box here. It's going to roll all the place. I'm looking for threes, and then there's strength five on the immortals. That was a really good roll. These rolls are going to turn around, I promise you. I have this happen to me every game. Oh, I'm doing really great right now, man. No, Bam. I'm not doing really good at all. Should have all been that. Oh, there we go. There it is. So, only eight. Eight? That's enough. Two per guy. Well. Two per guy and three guys, three three wounds that are not, that are not fun. Oh. <laughs> all right, uh, let's put this down while I... Yeah, here, let me switch you. I think this is all, this is the last of my firing anyway, so... All right. Normal guy, normal guy, HQ, um, and then two strength eights. It's AP1, right? AP1. I'm a team leader, and then I will go... So everybody's got two, so I'll put one on the HQ, one on him, and the other AP1 on the team leader. Okay. So the team leader fries. He's dead. And everybody else gets their armor saves. All right, so this is against the two regular guys in the unit. And one, one dies and one, one takes a wound. wound. And the HQ takes a wound. So a leadership test for those guys, and then it will be your turn. All right. Leadership nine, because of the HQ. Okay, four. All right. 